What's up everybody? This is a very happy but a very tired Zulu checking in on this Monday night. Um, you can see coronavirus, like quarantine, spending so much time inside my apartment. I guess there's not technically a quarantine, but I've been staying in my apartment so much that I'm starting to break out. So I need to figure out what to do about that. But anyways, apologize for looking kind of like shit. Very happy but very tired. As I said, my guild killed Nazoth tonight. We got ahead of the curve, which is an achievement that uh, basically means you kill the last boss on a certain difficulty um, before the release of the next tier of content. And it basically says that as far as the more casual side of raiding goes, you've basically beaten the game. Because Mythic raiding, which is the highest level of difficulty, requires a very precision-oriented group with a massive time investment. From You could do it with fewer people, but it's, you have to be really talented or really dedicated, and the bosses are much, much harder. So as far as being a more casual raider, which I am, I only raid two nights a week, and I do it mostly to get gear to support doing Mythic Plus. It's a super happy moment. I haven't gotten the ahead of the curve achievement since 2015. Despite being such a heavy WoW player, I just typically don't raid for entire tiers. I'll raid for part of it and then just not finish it for one reason or another. But... I'm very excited and it's just one more check in the box as far as feeling like I'm invested right now. I'm really invested in WoW, I'm really enjoying it as an experience and it's just being, even especially during these times where I need to be at home, it's great to have this outlet and I think that anyone who hasn't picked up video games in the past should think about doing it and picking it up and finding friends, like friends that you may normally talk to and hang out with. Get a simple game like Civilization or... Um, something for the Nintendo Switch if you have it, just or there's other really lightweight games for like your you could install on your work laptop or the home laptop you have that's maybe not as powerful that are just a lot of fun to play with groups of people. So I'll try to think of some recommendations and put them in the comments, but I really think this is a great time to pick up games as a hobby because it's a great way to stay in touch with people while doing something and actual activity with them. Um, you can always FaceTime as well, have FaceTime happy hour drinks with people, have, share dinner with people on FaceTime. Those are all things that I've done uh, and will continue to do to try and stay in touch with people. But very happy day. Did really well. Um, earlier in the day, we also plus two to 15 key. So we basically got the time. We did so well on the time that we... Um, made it so the key upgraded two times. So now we have a plus 17 key, which if we did it would be the highest key I have ever done. And so I think this coming week we can do a bunch of 17s and 18s and just start to feel our way towards 20. And at that point we're really becoming a more elite group. We would have to start coordinating and doing bigger pulls and the dungeons get much harder, but it's gonna get much more rewarding because I think I'm finally getting to the point where I'm almost on the very bleeding edge of Mythic Plus content and my group. Um, while not always the same members, the groups that I'm in tend to be able to push very high keys when I'm on my mage. So again, that's another thing is that I played my mage in the raid today. I did mage in Mythic Plus because some people need DPS. Um, even though I spent a lot of time on Warrior over the weekend, um, the mage is still the character that I've invested the most time in, in this expansion. Um, in large part because that's the role my guild needs me to fill, and this expansion is not very friendly to play multiple characters. So I end up playing the mage because that's what I need to do to help my team out. But I'm rambling a bit, so I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for checking in. Really happy night. Doing really well, getting closer and closer to this goal of competing in the MDI. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll be back tomorrow.